Hello Libra! Welcome to your weekly tarot forecast. This is for the week of March 5th through 11th. For Libra, Sun, Moon, or Rising, you might want to watch all three of those to gain more insight into the week and what is happening. I'm beginning by pulling from my Earth Alchemy Oracle to get you a supportive crystal. Um, keep in mind, these are general readings. Take them as they resonate. If you like the reading, please hit that like button, share it with your friends, leave me a comment. And of course, you can subscribe to the channel or hit that notification bell. I do appreciate all of your support. Let's see what Spirit has, please, for Libra for this coming week. What is coming in, please? What are the energies? What is a supportive crystal for them? What do you have for the Libra spirit? What do you have for Libra? All right, one more time. Okay. <laughs> All right. We have two cards. Uh, Petalite, Cosmic Downloads, Higher Heart Healing, See the Bigger Picture. And then we have Amethyst and Passion Flower, Violet Flame, Transmuting, breaking addictions and the nervous system. Hmm. So it's about the, that higher vibrational energy this week. It's about that healing energy, that connection with your higher self. All right. Now I'm going to pull from my Wisdom of Avalon Oracle. What do we have, please, for Libra? Well, these are not shuffling very well today. All right, one more time. All right, Libra. We have love. Love. And when we're in that high vibrational state, it's much easier to come from a place of love in our situations. And that is what we want to do. Uh, we want to come from a place of love. I like that. Okay. Let's see what we have from the tarot. Please, what do we have for Sunday? For Libra. Okay. We have the Knight of Swords coming in here. Amatrine. I choose my battles carefully. Uh, clarity. Wisdom. Uh, taking decisive action where you need to here. Not hesitating. Taking the action when you need. And pull that down in case we get more cards. Um, don't hesitate when that clarity comes into you, when those messages come in and they're telling you to move forward, take the action. All right. So you might be needing to take some action here on Sunday. Choose your battle carefully. Choose wisely the action that you will take. Right. What do we have on Monday, please? Monday. Monday, the king of swords now. I trust my ability to make a strategic decision. Okay, more of that clarity, that decisive action, wise decisions, choices, um, knowing where to act and taking the action, not hesitating. Look at this. They are both in that, that position. The swords are drawn facing the same direction here, ready for what is coming in. Hmm. Let's see what we have for Tuesday. Tuesday is the lover's card. Goodness. I trust my knowing and make a commitment, a relationship, partnership, something here, a union, um, whether it is a family member, a lover, um, it is something heartfelt. It's something of a higher vibrational frequency here. Um, this week is all about that love. Look at this love, love. It could be relational. There could be a love relationship, um, that is the focus of attention this week. And there's a need, a need for that higher heart healing, um, transmuting, 
um, your energies, healing yourself, healing the relationship, getting clear, choosing your battles carefully, mm. and taking decisive action where you need to, using wisdom, Give me a, and exercising love <laughs> as well. All right, let me see what we have on Wednesday. Wednesday, the Ten of Swords. I see the truth in this ending. Hmm, what is this ending? I do not know. But where there's an ending, there's a new beginning. If there is a relationship that has come to an end, Um, accept it, feel it, work through it, and be ready for the new beginning. If it is something else coming to an end, perhaps, uh, perhaps it's an end to being single and this, you're going to team up. This relationship is going to go a little deeper. But endings are not always... A negative thing. Um, it can bring in some positive change. It could be an end of a negative situation, making room for the positive. Let's see what we have on Thursday. The strength, I can deal with whatever comes my way. You will have the inner resiliency and strength you need to continue to move forward. Hmm. You can handle this, whatever this ending is. If it's difficult um, to accept and deal with, you have what you need within you to deal with it. Uh, it's change, yes, and sometimes change is hard for us. Um, to accept, but you have what you need to push through. Let's see what we have for Friday, please. Friday. All right. The Wheel of Fortune, the beginning of something new. I trust whatever the universe brings me. Yeah, something new is coming in here. Um, this ending is opening things up for the new to come in, for these possibilities, these opportunities. Trust what universe is doing. Let's see. What do we have on Saturday, please? Saturday. The Knight of Cups. I know that the right person waits until I am ready. The Knight of Cups could be an offer, a heartfelt offer. Somebody pouring their heart out to you, sharing their feelings. Maybe they want to go a little bit deeper. Um, it, it goes right along with the Lover's card here. Pay attention to your relationships and those that have the potential to grow into something deeper and more meaningful. Three of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. When I show my work, others give support. That opportunity for collaboration and working together. Recognition for your gifts, your talents, is your worth. And I'm going to pull Wisdom of the Hidden Realms in closing. I could get my cards to shuffle. There we go. One more time. All right. The High Lord of Gratitude and Service. Selflessness, humility, conscious action. Again, it's about coming from a place of love. Well, it's about healing. It's about expressing love. Um, that unconditional love. Approach every situation with that love, all right? Come from a place of love. This is what I have for you, Libra. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a blessed week.